हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग मेटलर्जी एंड वेलकम टू डे 17 ऑफ 100 डेज 100 कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट लिवर रूल एंड आल्सो आई गॉट अ स्मॉल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ यू सो आई जस्ट वांट टू एक्सप्लेन यू बाय एक्सप्लेनिंग अ बिट अबाउट लिवर रूल ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वी ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो अबाउट लिवर रूल सो यू कैन गेट सम डिटेल्ड पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम देयर हियर आई जस्ट वांट टू रिवाइज व्हाट इज लिवर लिवर रूल ओके सो बेसिकली लिवर रूल इज यूज्ड to calculate the weight percentages of different phases from the equilibrium diagram okay so usually we all know what is an equilibrium diagram which oh, sorry equilibrium diagram which we also call as phase diagrams okay so usually we know uh, let me take an isomorphous diagram what is isomorphous which has complete solubility so let's say i have this particular thing where i have liquid on top this is solid and obviously this is two phase region two phase region liquid plus solid right so this is temperature and let's say we took a binary alloy here so let me write percentage b okay this is 100 percentage of b this is 100 percentage a or in other sense you can also write 0 percent b right so this is an isomorphous system which we considered so here if you see what are these two points these two points are nothing but the melting points of a and b respectively so i uh, will discuss about this and the iron carbon diagram on another video but here i want to explain about liver rule so let me take this off so at a particular temperature okay if you have to calculate at a particular temperature let's draw a line okay that means this is the temperature which we are dealing with okay at that particular temperature you want to calculate what is you know the percentage of liquid or the percentage of solid that is present so here this line which we took is called a tie line okay this is called what tie line so here you can easily uh, observe some points where it is intersecting my liquidus and solidus right so let me take that off over here so let me say this is a and this is b okay this is a side if we just come on the left side we get pure a uh, i mean pure a in the sense it is what liquid in our case it is liquid point a and on the left side we have liquid correct and this is point b and if you just increase the composition above point b we have what pure solid and this particular region between a and b we have the combination of a and b okay at this particular temperature again remember at this particular temperature we took this a and b points now let's say i have an alloy so let's say i have an alloy something like this which i have fixed over here so let's say some x percentage b okay now if you want to calculate you can do two different things number 1 you can calculate first thing you want to calculate the concentration or the compositions of liquid and solid okay the two phases which are present in my particular diagram so compositions means how much of my b is present in my liquid phase okay how much uh, percentage of b is present in liquid phase and how much percentage of b is present in a solid phase and secondly you can also calculate the fraction of the phases itself fraction of liquid and solid that means okay we know that we can calculate in liquid whatever liquid is there we can see how much is uh, the percentage b that is present in it. but how much liquid is present how much solid is present that is given by this liver rule so if you want to calculate the composition itself it's very simple just draw perpendiculars where it is meeting the solidus and the liquidus line so this point over here is your cl that means the composition of liquid or you can say composition of b which is present in liquid phase whereas this thing is my cs what is cs cs is my percentage b that is present in my solid which is uh, taken as composition of solid itself so let me replace this this is cl this is x okay somewhere here we have x okay this is x and what is this this is cs 
okay so this is uh, what we can get the composition this is how we can get the composition now the other thing that we are also dealing is with the fractions so here comes uh, the liver rule so basically if you want to calculate the percentage of liquid or you can say the fraction of liquid or percentage if fraction uh, there won't be a percentage so i want to write it in percentages so percentage liquid is the length of the opposite arm divided by the total arm so usually it is considered as a beam okay which is you know um, supported by these three legs okay so this percentage of liquid can be written as what uh, let me say c s minus x small length the opposite arm divided by the total length is what c s minus c l of course into 100 for percentages and if you are calculating a fraction then this uh, into 100 won't be there similarly what is percentage of solid so again the same thing the opposite arm this is the opposite arm now okay so what is this this will be equal to x minus cl divided by the total length will be the same that is cs minus cl into 100 okay this is about how we can calculate the fraction of faces or the percentage of liquid and solid so using this concept basically we can do two things composition of liquid and solids and also you can see how much fraction of liquid and solid are present in a system system in the sense at that particular fixed temperature remember this right so now uh, we'll just look, have a look at this particular question which uh, i got today so uh, basically we use a liver rule concept to explain this so it's steel containing 38.7 percentage pro eutectoid ferrite so basically let me write what is this eutectoid reaction eutectoid reaction means a solid is converting into two other solids so let's say in iron carbon diagram we are talking about so we have gamma is converting into alpha plus cementite right so this usually take place at the eutectoid temperature uh, which is 737 degrees celsius and we also know what are the composition so again tomorrow i'll explain you about the iron carbon diagram okay so with that you can easily understand it so usually this 0 0.7 percentage alpha is 0 0.025 percentage and of course cemented we all know 6.67 percentage so what is this reaction meaning so usually this is equilibrium okay so this reaction this eutectoid reaction is explaining you that 0.77 percentage of carbon is in equilibrium with 0.2025 percentage of carbon that is alpha and 6.67 percentage of cementite that means it is in combination of 0.025 percentage of uh, carbon along with the mixture of cementite which has 6.67 weight percentage or mass percentage now usually uh, we have some regions in phase diagrams where there is a region of liquid plus alpha so let me explain this term pro eutectoid okay a small intro about that so let me also take a diagram so let me say Okay, I'll just try to explain you with the help of eutectic. This is an example of eutectic phase diagram. So, this will be liquid plus alpha. Okay, so this is the point of eutectic reaction. What is eutectic? Liquid gives, gives rise to S1 plus S2. So, let's say this is alpha plus beta. Okay, so liquid gives rise to alpha plus beta at that particular TE temperature. Now, if you have an alloy somewhere here, Okay, let's say I consider that particular alloy. So, if you carefully observe the cooling, so let's say I am cooling from this particular temperature to room temperature. So, as soon as it is coming to this point, this particular temperature, what is happening? There is some solidification that is starting. So, alpha is starting from here itself. Okay, this range of temperature, okay, this alpha will form and grow. Okay, and when this eutectic is reached it is the liquid whatever liquid is present this will convert into my alpha plus beta so this alpha plus beta which you see usually at this particular alloy has two alpha components so one 
is the alpha which is formed prior to the eutectic reaction before the eutectic reaction itself and the second type is forming due to the eutectic reaction so this first alpha which is formed on cooling okay, without the eutectic reaction is called pro eutectic alpha plus what is the other thing eutectic alpha which is formed by the reaction itself so this is usually called equal to my total alpha that is present at the room temperature similarly if you are talking about pro eutectoid the same thing so total alpha or in our case total alpha will be equal to what can i write pro eutectic alpha plus eutectic alpha right so this is some uh, introduction about this now moving on to this question i will just take it to just a minute i'll just take this to a new slide yeah so i think it's clear so what is it? this is 38.7 percentage right now uh, just have a look at the question a steel contains 38.7 mass percentage of pro eutectoid ferrite okay and 61.3 mass percentage of gamma fe which is nothing but the austenite at eutectoid temperature so if i just take the tie line and uh, show you let's say this is what this is alpha side and this is cementite side correct so we have somewhere over here okay which is basically my eutectoid point eutectoid point which has 0.77 percentage right this has 0.025 percentage and what is cemented it has 6.67 percentage now what did they say they said that you are dealing with pro eutectoid ferrite when is the pro eutectoid ferrite forming is it forming when we are reaching to this temperature or above the temperature so what we saw is this pro eutectoid ferrite okay is usually formed above my eutectoid temperature right that is forming on solidification directly from uh, liquid okay nucleation and growth of alpha is formed but just uh, below this particular eutectic, eutectoid temperature we have the total alpha that we get why total alpha because the eutectoid transformation has also been started from te correct so you must always remember that the pro eutectoid ferrite is only forming above the particular temperature let's say uh, my iron carbon diagram may be something like this okay so if i have some alloy over here let's take this alloy so this freezing range will give me my pro eutectoid alpha correct so this is the tie line that you you should take that means to calculate the total pro eutectoid alpha you can calculate just above the eutectoid temperature okay it's totally impossible but so what do you can do you can directly take this part of your reaction so if you just take it over here so this is what 0.025 okay i have some x let's say x that is what we have to find if you see here find the carbon content and what is this this is 0.77 so your aim is to calculate x when the pro eutectoid alpha okay so this is what this side now you have pro alpha of course this side you have gamma correct or uh, you can always take the mixture over here which is eutectoid mixture correct now so pro eutectoid alpha will be equal to again the opposite term divided by the total which is 0.77 minus x divided by 0.77 minus 0.025 equal to how much 38.7 percentage so you can take 0.387 okay so this is nothing but the fraction right so if you quickly try to calculate this let me also calculate along with you this will be 0.77 minus 0.025 into 0.387 okay minus and plus of 0.77 you are getting pro x to be equal to how much 0.4816 percentage okay so x is equal to what 0.48 okay let me take 48 
Now go to the second question. Now what we need? We need the total alpha. The rate is nothing but my alpha. So as I said again, if you are taking total alpha, what you should consider? You should consider just below the detectoid point. So that's again impossible. So you can directly take the complete line over here. Okay. So if I take it, if I bring it over here, so this will be. 0.025. What is my x over here? 0 0.48. And this is 0 0.67. Now what we want? We want this alpha. And this is Fe3C, which is cementite. So total alpha. Okay. I'm going to write total alpha. Total alpha will be equal to how much? The opposite leg, opposite arm, which is 6.67 minus 0 0.48 divided by the total length is 0 uh, 6.67 minus 0 0.65. Okay. So if you just calculate it, 6.67 minus 0.48 divided by 6.67 minus 0 0.025. So this will be equal to how much? This will be equal to 93.15 percentage. Of course, you have to multiply by 100 to get into percentage. So this is how you apply the concept of liver rule into different concepts. So today what we learnt we learnt about how we can calculate the fraction of any phase and also we cal we known how to calculate you know the compositions of different phases and how to apply to calculate the pro eutectic or pro eutectoid phases and of course the total phases at room temperature itself right so i hope you understood the, this concept of liver rule if you understood please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and Obviously, we are doing this to help many many of you. So please share it so that uh, you know uh, and also like our video so that it, it will motivate us to do more such important videos and we are taking questions from you directly. Whatever concepts we are doing, uh, we are lining up only from the survey we did from the students and also the regular questions which students are asking us. So I hope you have liked it and please share it. Please share so that uh, you know it should reach many people and definitely if you are interested to join us please go visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com okay in order to get the most affordable test series in india for gate metallurgy of course we are providing one of the fullest guidance for gate metallurgy and then at an affordable cost even the video courses so please do visit thank you guys thanks for watching we'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you